Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. Last video we did a lot of work for Nigel. He sent us to meet a couple people, both very interesting characters, um, so I'm really excited. I'm hoping that we get to do more with them. It looks like we have some more missions for both Seth and Irish on the map, so I think I'm going to do some of those. We have some more missions for Bonnie, we've got some more missions for Nigel, so we've got a lot to do. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today, kind of just go where I feel like, I guess, um, and... We'll kind of see where it goes, where it takes us, and play it by ear. So I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough so far. If you are, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. Here you go, you guys. All right, since Bonnie's missions are my least favorite, as much as I love Bonnie, I'm going to start off with that just to get it over with. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Let's head out. He couldn't have gotten far. What the heck horse do I have? What is this? Come on, come on! <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? The father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six. Brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Ouch. Who's that over there? Come on, boy. I don't see anyone. What are we looking at? Daddy! Oh, shit. What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Are those yeah. ranch hands? Yeah. Careful! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back Quick there as, as soon as we can. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Whoa there. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Oh, we are definitely getting in a shootout. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant Merc. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Gee up! Why is she being a bitch to us all of a sudden? She didn't have an issue with it before. Yeah, how about you remember this when you start 
being rude to me again about Come being on. in a gang. Put it out. Let's oh. go out. Okay, that's not the way. Watch a horse burn alive. Get them all! Hurry! Get them all! Get them all! Oh, oh my god, that was stressful. It's four horses. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You. Well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. They probably should. Yeah. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. We're not going to bring him the wagon. Whoa. We're about to get trampled. Let's get out of here. see like what happened to my horse why do I have this weird horse now like, who are you what happened to my tan one it's very odd all right what do we want to do now with the sheriff. I think I'm going to do that. Those tend to be really fun. I did a lot for Nigel last time. And I don't know if I want to deal with Irish yet. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's do that. Come on! 
I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Uh, Mr. Marshall! Time. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Oh, Get down from there! Shit. You know... Part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Even though you just accused me of being the one responsible for having her taken. These people, I swear. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied, I'm good. Stay with me, Marston! I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on, let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you fucking That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. 
Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped. It's like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Depending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. <laughs> there have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules. But they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. What I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Boys will be getting past poking on me. I wish it was like my boys Red Dead 2 where we could punch him. Couldn't stop talking. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. Oh, shut up, you. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. I punch you. Come on, let's go. You get yours, you son of a. You, get him you got feet, ain't you? Use them. Home. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fellers. Wait, where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? What are you
shit, Bonnie. Are you okay? That's a dumb question. Bonnie, are you okay? But we're gonna ask it anyways. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> Holy shit, Bonnie is a badass. <coughs> Bonnie and Sadie would be best friends. It's not going to be the same after this, you guys. What can I say, partner? Some money. An old outhouse. Go the bathroom. I'm trying to remember if I, oh, there's a chest, if I went to Tumbleweed as John in RDR2, because the name is familiar, but I'm not recognizing it. All right, which horse is the prettiest? That's going to determine which one I take. This white one is kind of reminiscent of Siri. Cool coloring. All right, what to do now? I don't have another one there. Hmm. I guess let's go to Irish because he's pretty close. And I want to see what he has to say about giving us false information.
Josh, where are you? You bastard. Was that him drinking on the side of the house? Who do you hunt? I I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I want to buy you a drink. I don't think you need any more drink. I want to tell drink. you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. <sighs> and it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a feller to give up easily, are ye? You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, fella. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. Mm. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Yes. Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. <laughs> Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Whoa! Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the lad. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use uh -huh. that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to find these You've horses, down in a mine. and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Kill that man! It's much easier than having to paint your own targets, but you shoot in a lot of places you don't mean to shoot. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Get up.
sweet. I need to go to Thieves Landing. Win at horseshoes. Ooh. What's shit? Stop doing that! I mean, we did kill some other guys, Jeff. Can't really expect them not to shoot at us. So it doesn't blow up when I'm standing right next to it. You know you're gonna die, boy. Ouch. Music down here is very creepy. TNT everywhere. What can I say, partner?
die because we've got TNT right there. <laughs> get on that Gatling gun and that's gonna suck. I ain't getting fresh. Cracks me up how he talks to the dead bodies. at your corpse being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. So that definitely wasn't as bad as I feared. I'm glad I didn't have to kill anybody who was shooting the Gatling gun. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down there. Don't let go of her. She's a beast.
did I tell you? It's a tank! That was awesome. Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. A little help, Irish. Or not. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Do we trust him to actually take it there? I feel like we should have gone with him. else we need hmm. for the outfits might as well also let's go to him okay outfits so, we still need to find the Twin Rack side out, and I still need a duel. I need to go to Thieves Landing for three different pieces. I need to search it, and I need to purchase some things from the tailor. I feel like scrap five for this with Defend the Residents, that's going to be a main mission. Oh, Hennigan's dead. That's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of McFarland Ranch. <laughs> I need a bounty for the twins gang. Stranger task I'll come across. I haven't been to Rathskeller Fork yet. Cap tooth breach hideout. Okay. Um So we're at Gap Tooth Breach. But where is the hideout? that be it? I don't know. Let's go to this guy first. Did I like this already? No. Where's my horse? Come here. Switching over to my war horse. I'll do that after this. like it. Shit. Well, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's right. 
All right, Percy, Hello? wait here. I hope he's actually in here, or this is a waste of time. I appear to be in something of a bind! This is a little too visceral for me. Jimmy! Hello. <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny, what? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting Sounds idea. Nice. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Okay. Leave it to me now, sport. I have more adventure and hijinks to procure. So I love how we're gonna randomly run into him everywhere we go. Alright, so where is the Gap Tooth Breach hideout? Cause this is just like the mining camp, right? Are you still here for any reason other than my bristling charisma? Easy. Okay, I'm going. To, why did you that? I'm going to. I feel like this is too far away to be it, but. The only thing I see that could potentially, because that's the mines. Kept tooth bridge. Hmm. Let's go explore. Oh, there's that fork place I needed to win. Hmm. Right, I might look up where this hideout is. I'm not sure. Post? Where is everybody? That is a good question. Okay, so that's not it. Oh, every time. Hmm. I do not know. Well, let's see. I know that Thieves Landing is someplace I need to go. Oh, you know what? Let's go, let's go turn this in. And then we'll go to Thieves Landing. Just make 
my thing here. Uh oh, the music got all intense. Something was about to happen. Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Okay. I'll take it. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here. Broke. Could be worse, I guess. Oh, the funny man is back. you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. We're not far anymore. So let's get my war horse back. There she is. These? Do they have genders in this game? I don't know. Alright, and the funny man is back. Might as well go talk to him. Pretty close though, so I think I'm just gonna ride. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. We're stuck. Let's there go. we go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, partner. Armadillo and see if they have a map. Just like the one I got at McFarland Ranch. Every time. Is he always getting captured? Thanks, faster? sport. You are a true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a, a little bit of the local color, you know. But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. I appreciate your help, sir. But All right. What, um... I think I already did this one with the 
Sheriff. Maybe. Probably can't fast travel in this area, can I? Oh, thank. All right, let's just go this way. Should I take these people out? Even though I already did it with the sheriff. Be my first time, Mister. You ready to die? Oh God! Why do I have my knife out? <laughs> you probably are.
Come in. You won! 
one more! Go home, buddy! Oh, there you are. Could not see him for the life of me. Listen. I want to 
see what my new outfit is. we're gonna stop there it was a very hodgepodge video but I had a lot of fun um I'm glad I ended up doing that gang hideout in Pike's Basin I wasn't going to at first because we had already been there for a main mission so I kind of thought it would have already counted but um, we ended up getting something out of it so that's pretty cool um, I am definitely wanting to go to Thieves Landing because there's a lot of stuff for outfits over there um, and I still need to find those two locations for those other gang hideouts. So I might look up where those are just so that I can do those because I really want to get the outfits. Um, I love that we keep running into that funny man. I think that's going to be funny <laughs> that we keep running into him. Um, so I'm excited to keep playing. I, I hope Bonnie's okay. Her missions today were much more enjoyable than the ranching missions, so that makes me hopeful for future missions with the family later on. Um, and I'm still really enjoying the missions with the sheriff. So I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough. If you are and you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.